What it? Hello, YouTube. Welcome. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my sister's room where I film videos while she's not home. I just came back from my AP Lit exam today and man, it was a bit of a doozy. Um, there was this passage about mill workers and how they would rather die than continue working at their mill. And man, did it have me just deep, deep in my bag, in my duffel. You know what? This was me. I was in here, right down in here. Cause of those mill workers, man, those dang mill workers and how they hated their mill. My AP exams this year don't really matter because the college I'm going to doesn't really give me that much credit for the specific APs I'm taking. So this lit exam really just meant nothing. But uh, last night I was up at you know 11, finishing up an essay and just thinking, maybe I should study for this AP lit exam tomorrow. And so I didn't, of course, I'm not crazy, but I went to bed and while I was falling asleep, you know, to put myself to sleep, I said, if I had to study tonight for my AP Lit exam tomorrow, how would I do it? And I think I had some valuable insight that I wanna share with you guys today. So AP exams are kind of different from other standardized tests, right? In that they test what you've been supposed to be learning all year. But if you're like most high school students, you haven't really been paying attention to that AP Lit class all year. You haven't been paying attention in that A-Push class all year. Maybe AP Chem, but certainly not those humanities boys. And so today, I want to teach you guys how to get that five if you don't have the drive. So here's essentially what you're going to want to do, okay? You're going to... And this is me speaking right now for humanities classes. I'll get into like science and math later on. But if we're talking A push, we're talking AP Lit, AP Lang, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pick one or two events or one or two texts that you studied this year that you maybe enjoyed, and you're just gonna wanna study those individual texts. Leave everything else alone. There's nothing you can do. It's in the Lord's hands now, brother. But what you can do is pick these one or two texts and get really well versed in them and then just use them no matter what. So for example, on the AP Lit exam, one of the questions asks you to use a text to like answer a question. It's confusing, but you'll get it if you're taking AP Lit. But anyways, I really liked the book Middlesex that my class read this year. And so no matter what the prompt was, I said, I'm gonna take Middlesex, I'm just gonna jam it into that essay, no matter what it takes, I'm just gonna do it. And I did, and it actually worked out pretty well. I had a pretty solid understanding of Middlesex to the point that I could reference specific points in the plot. And I mean, like, literature is all just kind of fake anyways, so you can basically put any theme into any book. People might come at me in the comments for this, but sometimes the truth just hurts. And the same thing's true with history, man. Like, I don't really remember A-Push, but I do remember that I just studied a couple events really closely and then used those for essays to give, like, specific examples for my claims. And that leads into my next point. Really, all you need to do is just get a good night's sleep and drink coffee in the morning. Because, especially for A-Push, you can BS your way through that exam, like, pretty easily, with just a basic knowledge of American history. But the worst thing you can do is stay up all night studying and get into the exam and be tired because these, these boys are long. These are some long boys. It's long, long boy hours. LBHs. <laughs> um, but yeah, that just about wraps up my advice for humanities. It probably wasn't all that helpful, but I mean, you're the one who chose not to study, so you can't really be mad at me, now can you? But anyways, now let's get into uh, not having the drive, but you still wanna get that five science and math edition. Now for these exams, my advice is this. If you haven't studied, you have absolutely no chance, okay? You can't BS your way through chemistry. You can't BS your way through calculus. All right, so you're just gonna wanna go to sleep, drink some coffee, um, maybe some other substances that I'm not gonna get into so I don't get demonetized, but you really have no chance unless you study. But in reality, like if it's the night before and you just wanna do some good like reviewing, what I would do and what I would personally recommend is write down everything you've learned all year. Now I know that sounds pretty terrifying, but, but 
when you break it down into, into small bite-sized pieces, it's really not gonna feel like you learned all that much, right? Because when you first learned stuff, you were learning it for the first time and it took a while. But now that you know it, you kind of just know it. Unless you like didn't pay attention, which I mean, I can't blame you. It, it is AP chemistry after all. But really, I don't remember how many categories there were, but it wasn't all that many for AP Chem. And so I broke it down into its most basic categories, just like Google it, or maybe your teacher gave you subsections of the year, and just write those down on a piece of white blank paper and look at which ones need more work and pick whichever category you're the worst at and just study that for a while. Because while I did say that you're completely screwed for these math and science exams, and don't get me wrong, you are. You're, you're not gonna do well. Basically, really what you need to do better than you would otherwise is confidence. So just take the subcategory that you're the worst at and put some time into that and just shore up your knowledge. And I think that will at least make you feel better. Uh, and I think confidence on test day is just as important as like sleep. Um, if you go into it feeling like you're gonna fail, you probably will. Um, let me see if there's any other cliches I wanna throw at you guys. Uh, try to find the best in everyone. Um, a penny saved is a penny earned. Uh, it doesn't matter where you go to college. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully this has been a helpful video on how to study at the last minute for your AP tests. I'm gonna try to keep it short because it's the last minute and you obviously need to be studying, not watching me talk for like 15 minutes. So hope this helps, you can do it. Just believe in yourself and get a good night of sleep is really my biggest message. And drink some coffee. Um, people will tell you not to, but I think it's a good idea. It kept me alert. I'm not like a normal coffee drinker or anything, but I'll suffer my way through a good old cup of joe on test day. But regardless, happy AP season. Hope all of your AP dreams come true. And just try not to think too much about the fact that you might take all of these exams and realize that your college doesn't accept credit for them.